for somebody who's really new to the game mm -hmm. and who's really starting out and they have no credibility they have nothing really like literally nothing to get started with okay what would you recommend if they want to start I can get used to this kind of lifestyle Hey guys, this is Angelo Sison and I'm here right now with my friend and buddy. It's Paolo Berindel here and we're here in Sydney. Yeah, I was here in Sydney, Australia, so I just came here the other day. We were having vacation here. Well, at the same time, I wanted to meet this guy in person because he has a lot of story when it comes to YouTube marketing. He has a huge YouTube following and I wanted to pick his mind on some ideas, get some insights from him so we all can learn from him on how he was able to turn YouTube traffic into multiple affiliate commissions for him uh, which is making him a stable income every single month, right? So could you please tell us, Paolo, uh, how you got started with YouTube first? Yeah, sure. So when I first started with uh, YouTube, it was back in 2013. Okay. And uh, my first uh, venture with YouTube was I'm doing product reviews. Whenever a product is uh, you know, it's a brand new launch, I buy the product yeah. and then I test the product. And if it works for me, then I document my results yeah. and then I share that on YouTube basically to show them that this is a, a brand new product and this is my results. And if you want to buy this, then I recommend the product. Okay. Yeah. There's a term for that one, right? It's called, I think, launch jacking or something like that? Yeah, I think it's called launch, launch jacking. jacking. Yeah. yeah. Launch, yeah. So yeah. you basically leverage newly launched product because as we all know, guys, like there's a new product that's being launched at the moment on ClickBank, for example, or JVZ or Warrior Plus or whatever the case may be. A lot of people, a lot of subscribers, you know, people that are on email lists will be searching for that specific product. And what he's saying is that is leveraging uh, off of those traffic so whenever somebody search for for example like push button traffic or whatever on Google then his YouTube will come up on the first page of Google ranking is that correct that's right, yeah. okay and that's how you generate affiliate commissions yeah that's how I get started so uh, but during that time I don't really know I would say I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing yet yeah because you know? uh, I have my YouTube channel I have my YouTube videos and then I just have my uh, affiliate link in the description. Right. So, and that's probably part of the, the other questions you would have. But I would say where I am now, if I go back to what I'm doing before, yeah. I would say I don't know what I'm doing yet because I just have my affiliate link in exactly. the description. You know? So the sales will come in, but it's not really a good okay uh, and good income. All right. So can you tell me a little bit uh, about the... Because there was this one video that I watched that you published on YouTube and uh, it was how to make whatever X amount of dollars in X number of days. Yep. And then in that specific video, he showed his income where he made over $50,000 in one single month from ClickBank. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Could you please tell us a little bit more about how you made that and you know what kind of program did you promote to be able to get that commissions? Yeah, sure. So what I did during that time, so right now because I know what, I, what I'm doing now. Yeah. So first important bit, let's say if you guys are starting out, just starting out, you need to find your niche. Okay. Right. So And then look for a good offer. So when I say good offer, it is something that uh, people would buy. And if people would buy, you can back it up with your name and say that, yep, this is this product works and this is ethical. Yeah. So. After you find that product, I set up my, uh, what we call the automated system, right? So the automated system is, you know, consists of a landing page, thank you page, the autoresponder, and then the follow-up emails. Because if you guys probably don't know yet, you know this, Angelo, most of the sales will be coming from the follow-up emails. Exactly. 
it will not come from you know the first time that people will see the offer. Yeah, the average conversion rate, guys, when it comes to uh, online products, is one percent. So if you are spending money on you know let's say you buy traffic and then you send it to uh, to an affiliate offer, right? Ninety nine percent of those traffic will leave without buying anything. So exactly, yeah. you're wasting a lot of money. You're leaving a lot of money on the table. Basically, if you are not building your list, collecting those email addresses, and following up through them through email. So yep. yeah. So then, so then, uh, after setting up the automated system, that's the time that we send traffic to that landing page. So some of the traffic source that I use, and which is one of the most common, I would say, for newcomers or for newbies. One of the traffic sources that I personally use is solo ads oh, yeah. uh, because it's newbie friendly. You don't have to mess around with you know keyword research in terms of doing Google AdWords. Exactly. You don't have to mess with you know your Facebook ad account being shut down because you violated a policy. Right. With solo ads, you just pay a small fee to a solo ad vendor, and then they send that email to their list and. The main purpose of that is to send traffic to your landing page and then from there builds your list, you send follow up email. So yeah, so yep. Yeah, that's that's exactly true. So build a list, collect you know, email addresses, first names, right? And then you drive traffic using solo ads. Solo and that's ads. how you were able to generate fifty over fifty thousand dollars in commissions. Yeah, mainly solo ads and then follow up emails. Okay. So for somebody who's really new to the game and who's really starting out and they have no credibility they have no they have nothing really like literally nothing to get started with okay what would you recommend if they want to start creating their setting up their own youtube channel and driving traffic doing affiliate marketing through youtube how would you recommend that they get started right uh if you're just starting out so let's say we go back to the uh, first step right if you yeah. Uh, you select your niche. The three most common niche in, in affiliate marketing is make money online. Yeah. We also have the weight loss and diet, and then we have dating. So the first step is you need to select what is your niche. So if, for example, you want to promote weight loss, diet, and offers, then you stick to that uh, to that niche. Right. And then you create your YouTube channel. So. If you if you're not comfortable doing you know a face to camera yeah, like video it's... like what we're doing on YouTube, you can buy a software that can create a video for you. Or oh. you know, or uh, you can also go to Fiverr because you need to spend time learning this stuff. Yeah. So you can also go to let's say Fiverr.com and you know, get someone to do a video for you and speak about a specific topic. So let's say a weight loss offer. Right. Yeah. So that's that's the first step, and then after that, uh, you also need to learn how to create your automated system. So you know, because I'm not gonna be telling you to you know put your affiliate link in the description because that's the mistake that most newcomers or newbies do. You need to be building your list. So you need to set up your system. So landing page, thank you page, autoresponder, and follow up emails. Yeah. And then yeah, so you upload your videos on YouTube. You put your landing page link on the description and then yeah from there people will watch the video they click on the link and they go to your landing page and then from there let the system do the work for you yeah I really like the the stuff that he mentioned just now about Fiverr and hiring somebody to do the video creation for you because when I got started online I didn't really have as you, you guys know, like English is not our first language. Yeah. More often than not, you don't know what to talk about in those <laughs> videos, right? Yes. Even if you create one video, okay, how do you make it consistent? Because a lot of success stories on YouTube are about you know people who are consistently creating new videos every now and then, right? So if success doesn't happen by just uploading one video and that's it, right? Yeah, so exactly. you have to really like exactly, yeah. be consistent yeah. at it. So that was the most. I mean, burning question that I had when I got started online, like, okay, I, I want to promote my stuff using YouTube, but how do, how do I get started? Because I don't know what to talk about. I don't have any skills yet to demonstrate through video. I like the tip that you can hire somebody on Fiverr to, you know, to do the video creation part for you and uh, promote an offer, right? Yeah. But how do you go about, like, creating the content? Like, what do you, what do you tell the Fiverr, you know, Fiverr gigs? Yeah, so uh, normally what you tell them is uh, 
I mean, you, you can also get someone to... It's the same, right? So if you don't know what to tell the, the video guy, you can also go to, let's say, Fiverr and yeah. get a, like a copywriter. So copywriter. That, that, that copywriter will write the script for you okay. and say, hey, can you check out this product on ClickBank or JVZoo? Then write a, you know, like a short script. So you will pay him, let's say, $5 for that script. Yeah. And then you give that script to the video guy on Fiverr. Mm. You know, so you're right. outsourcing it. They're doing the work on your behalf. Exactly. So that's one tip. So the other tip that I would say, because uh, this is one of the most common questions that I get from uh, from my subscribers on YouTube, a lot of people would say, "Can you show us, uh, you know, free traffic source?" And right. The reason why I don't personally recommend going for free traffic, right? If you want quick results, free traffic is not the way. Exactly. Right? Because when I say free traffic, uh, I'm talking about SEO search engine optimization or let's say YouTube, right? Yeah. YouTube organic search. You need to be ranking your your let's say your blog post or product review or YouTube video for you to be able to get traffic. But if you want to get fast results, my recommendation is paid traffic. Exactly. So, That's yes. what I would highly recommend as well. Yeah. If you're really serious about building a you know long term and profitable business, paid traffic is definitely the best way to go. But you know, not all of us are blessed with you know budget budget yeah to invest in paid traffic. So if you are on a shoestring budget, then uh, what we highly recommend is starting setting up your own YouTube channel and start creating content. Another way that I think that you can do, guys, is you can watch a lot of YouTube videos. So learn the stuff that you you want to sell. So for example, if you're going to the weight loss niche, right? Like watch every single YouTube video that you can find on YouTube that is related to weight loss. And then after that, you can create your own video as well. Or another idea is to go to Fiverr, as you said, find an expert, find somebody who's an expert on that topic, and then have him or her speak on a video, talk on a video, and then you use the video on your YouTube channel, where you promote, you know, like a weight loss product or whatever the case may be. Right. There's another strategy where uh, you can also contact the owner of that YouTube video. Yeah. You can do a search on YouTube, and some of them, what you'll notice, uh, they have this, you know, they have these hundreds of hundreds and thousands of views, yeah. but they're not monetizing the video. Oh. Yeah. There are some video owners that are like that. Yeah. They have the videos. It's you know, it has a lot of video views, but they're not monetizing it. So what you can do. It's actually message the video owner and say, hey, can you put my link in the description of your video and then I'll pay you a small fee. Mm. Mm. That's another strategy. That's what we call like YouTube influencer strategy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but this, make sure that you bring, your, you bring the traffic to your landing page, not to your affiliate link. Exactly. Mm. Build your list. Yeah, because if you start building your list, then it'll be long term since you have your subscribers' contact information and your autoresponder. So as long as they haven't unsubscribed yet, you have the chance to keep on following up with them through email and sell them multiple stuff over and over. So that instant traffic on demand. That's how we're able to make a lot of commissions online doing affiliate marketing, guys. So, yeah, um, what other tips do you have, like as far as market research or? Uh, you know, targeting keywords to put in your in your video description or YouTube titles and whatnot. You know. Yep. So the way I do it personally, uh, I just keep it simple. Okay. So uh, I normally go to let's say Google. Google, Google I do okay. a Google search, and then I would type for the keyword that uh, let's say I, I am targeting or I will be building the content around. So what? happens is when you type a keyword on Google, Google will actually give you some recommendations and yeah. then I just take a screenshot of those and then I do a search and then after I do a search, Google will give you the results on the first page, right? right. And then you scroll down to the bottom of the page and it will tell you more keywords Then I take a screenshot of those and I do the same thing on YouTube and then after that, those are the keywords that I will be putting on my description and uh, tags on YouTube. So I, I just keep it simple, yeah. Right. Really keep it simple. And then make sure that uh, when you create a video, uh, the main keyword that you're targeting, uh, that will be the name of the file, of the video file. Okay. Right? And when you 
because on YouTube you can also upload a custom thumbnail. Yeah. So make sure that the file name of your thumbnail image. of the image is the same as the keyword. Right. So, so if you if you're targeting the keyword, let's say how to lose weight, then your video file before you upload the video file on YouTube it should be how to lose weight dot mp4 right. and same thing with the image thumbnail will be how to lose weight dot jpg and then you also put it in the title and the, the same the keyword title, like yeah, how to lose title. weight and then same thing in the same description thing in the title, in the description right. so it will be uh, the main keyword that you're targeting it will be the name of or the title of the video yeah right and then you want to make sure that the same keyword is on the first line of the description. Okay. So in the description of the video. Don't put your link, put the main keyword in the first line. At the very top. Yep. And then what will happen is whenever someone is searching on, let's say, Google, yeah. uh, because YouTube is owned by Google, so your video can be, or it will be shown in the search results of uh, Google on, on the first page of Google. Right. So it will be on the first page of Google and on the first page of YouTube. So you're hitting you know, two birds in one bullet. Nice. What about the video length? How many minutes do, does it usually, do you usually recommend when it comes yeah. to Yes, yeah, so in terms of video length, it also depends if let's say you're doing a, a, let's say a video tutorial or a training video. I would probably say about 20 to 30 minutes 23. is okay yeah, because you want to give content to your right. uh, content to your subscribers if you're doing a, like a product review I would say less than 10 minutes is okay if it's a product review and you also want to make sure that put this on your notes if you're watching this at the end of the video you want to make sure that you give your subscribers or give your viewers a clear call to action Right. So you want to make sure that you tell them what to do next because imagine this, you gave them a killer content, a killer review, so you get them excited but then you don't tell them what to do next. So exactly. you lose that, you lose that momentum, right? So you want to make sure that uh, at the end of the video you tell them, okay guys, if you want to get this product or if you want to buy this product, I will be putting the link in the video, in the description of this video and then you follow through the call to action. You tell them. Click on the link at the description of this video and then you'll be taken to this page and yeah, from there, yeah. So, so you want to make sure that there's a clear call to action. Right. So there you go guys, you heard about you know his secret sauce. I mean that's <laughs> that's the same strategies that he implements yes. on a daily basis that gets him because I've joined this you know network marketing program such as 4% and then Super Affiliate Network. Wherever you go guys, you'll always see his name on the leaderboard, at least in the top ten or top five maybe. So yes. recently I was in this I joined this super affiliate network program as well. And then he was there. I, I saw him like in the top five. So Majority of your traffic came just from YouTube, from right? YouTube, yeah. I'm, yes. not, I'm not paying for traffic. Anymore. Yeah, so just from YouTube, guys. Imagine the potential that you can get with just YouTube traffic, and it's free traffic as well. And if you want to boost it up with with uh, paid traffic, then you can do that as well. And then you know, it's the best of both worlds. So um, yeah, thanks. Thanks for doing this interview. Yeah, not a problem. Do you have a website? Yeah, my website is uh, basically my name, so it's uh, go to paoloberingel.com. Paolo Beringel, okay. It'll be in the link in the description as well, and then you have like Instagram or Facebook or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I, I also have Instagram, so it's at Paolo underscore Beringel. Okay. So that's my Instagram handle. Alright. Okay guys, so I hope you like this video and I hope you got a lot of valuable golden nuggets from Mr. Paolo Beringel here. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video, okay? Peace cool. out.